one of the very first steps in any network reconnaissance mission is to reduce a set of IP ranges into a list of active or interesting hosts. Scanning every port of every single IP address is slow and usually unnecessary. In No Port Scan option, using SN option, which was known as SP in previous releases, you tell Nmap not to do a port scan after host discovery and only print out the available hosts that responded to the host discovery probes. This scan type is often known as a ping scan. Systems administrators often find this option valuable as well. It can easily be used to count available machines on a network or monitor server availability. This is often called a ping suite and is more reliable than pinging the broadcast address because many hosts do not reply to broadcast queries. The default host discovery done with SN is executed by a privileged user. It sends an ICMP echo request, TCP SYN packet to port 443, TCP ACK packet to port 80, and an ICMP timestamp request by default. When executed by an unprivileged user, only SYN packets are sent using a connect call to ports 80 and 443 on the target. When a privileged user tries to scan targets on a local Ethernet network, ARP requests are used unless send IP was specified. Let's perform the first NMAP scans of the course using ping scan, also known as no port scan. NMAP is embedded in Kali and defined in the path, so you can run NMAP from anywhere just by typing NMAP in a terminal screen. When you type NMAP and hit enter, you get the help page of the NMAP. You can also look at the man page by typing man nmap to learn more. Let's build an nmap command to perform a ping scan. After the command itself, nmap, I first add the parameter to define the scan type as ping scan. Note that the order of the parameters is not important in nmap. Now, enter the only mandatory parameter, IP address. Here I enter 172.16.99.0 slash 24. Network gurus already know what it is. Keeping it very simple, it means the IP addresses between 172.16.99.0 and 172.16.99.255. That's enough. Hit enter and run the command. And the results are in. These are the hosts which are up. That means these are the systems that responded to our requests. Remember from the previous slide, our requests are ICMP echo, SYN for port 443, ACK for port 80, and ICMP timestamp requests, if the user is privileged. The IP addresses or the domain names of the systems are spread across a line. In most cases, we want to see the IP addresses of the hosts as a list to use in further scans. So what can we do to see only the IP addresses of the live systems. Well, we're going to use the power of the Linux command shell. First, let's clear some lines of the result which do not contain IP addresses. So we'll only have the lines of IP addresses. To be able to do this, I'll use grep command with pipe. Copy a static part of the IP lines, for example, nmap scan, and give it as a parameter of grep command. Let me give you a little tip here. If you're using a mouse, select a string in the terminal screen and press the middle button of the mouse to copy and paste the selected part. Now we only have the lines which contain the IP addresses. But wait a second. We have a domain name of a host. Let's get rid of the domain name and see only the IP address of it. An nmap command, add dash n parameter to avoid the name resolution, so nmap will display only the IP address. Now we have the lines with IP addresses. Now the second step is to clear the words in the lines to have only the IP addresses. To do this, we'll use the cut command of the Linux shell. Type cut. The delimiter here is the space character. Give it with the D parameter. IP is the fifth field of the line. Give it with F parameter. Now we have the IP list of the live hosts. 